Now with the Mandela effect, how this all fits in, you gotta think of this. The Bible does say that the beast was going to cause everyone to receive a mark, which was 666. Or that was actually the, the, the number of the beast. And CERN's logo is 666. And then you think about everything they're doing. I mean, we don't know if it's a parallel universe or if they're changing stuff in our time and making it look that way. I mean, because we, we are not, you know, advanced like that. Something's happening. Things are changing. I go with the string theory. I lean more toward that parallel universes. But the Bible is one thing which is different because in the Bible, they're changing things like a word bottle that did not exist in those days. So if they're changing words in the Bible, then that's fine because then there won't be no bottle in those days. But if they're actually changing the past, do you see where that can be very dangerous if they're able to change the past? I don't. I personally don't think they can because God is greater than anything unless he allowed them to. But if they did, they would eventually change the Bible where the past is changed, where they would create a reality where the Messiah doesn't show up. Or even if he does, the Antichrist comes in the end and wins. They, they would be able to change, if they, if they can create their own universe by, by almost like the computer programs where you grab a nose, you grab a, you know, ears and you paint your own kind of face, almost like that kind of way of, of thinking about it. Like if they're able to eventually create their own universe by grabbing pieces of all these different universes and putting them together into one, that's possible. But if they are changing the words in the Bible, then we're fine. But if they're changing actual events going back 4,000 years. 5,000 years and changing events that happened in the Bible, giving us a, a different timeline. The other realities are still out there, but they might be creating a whole new timeline where the Antichrist wins or where the devil wins or where the devil comes to Christ or whatever. That, now that would be very dangerous. That might even actually be the mark of the beast. If CERN's logo is 666 and they're able to go back and change time and give you a whole new parallel universe, they might be trying with 666 and that's why the Bible's changing is they might be trying to change the past of the Bible, where they turn Jesus Christ into the devil, possibly, or they have him come like he did, and have the Antichrist win in the end. You see, they might be trying to create a reality, or our, our, our parallel universe, where, where, the, where, where Christ does not exist. And that might be why the Bible warns of receiving the mark of the devil. Because if you do, then you're going to end up in that reality, which will basically be hell. It talks about people wishing to die and not be, being able to find death. Okay, so you have to think very carefully what that might mean. Now, CERN is 666, and if they can make a brand new parallel universe, so the mark of the devil in the Bible, the mark's always been with your when it's your right hand and your forehead, it, may, it means when you think it and you do everything with all your might with your hand. That's what it means when it comes to the right hand and the forehead. That's what the Bible meant in the past. So, if you decipher it that way and you go with what's written in the past. It's going to be basically what kind of person you are. If you're following God's laws, His Ten Commandments, you're praying daily, you have a relationship with Christ, with Jesus, the Savior, then you, sh you, you probably are safe when you're not going to vibrate toward that parallel universe where Christ does not exist. But if you do not repent, if you believe in New Age movement, if you believe in everything but the Christ, eventually you're, they're going to create that parallel universe. You're going to bounce right on into it by receiving the mark of the devil, 666, six, 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 see? Now that's possible... That's possibly what they're doing. It's possible. We, we we don't want to wait to see on something like this. This, you want to make sure you're saved. You want to make sure that you're with Christ. You don't want to wake up one day and realize you're not with Christ and you're in this parallel universe where the devil is God and you're there forever. We don't want that to happen. Now, it's not biblical, but it appears if, they, if they're not changing the words, if they're actually changing history in the Bible, that's what they'd be going for, obviously. If God allows it or not, we don't know. The devil might create a... a, a parallel universe, but when God's removed from it, the devil won't be able to hold the universe up. It would collapse, which would be hell.